Welcome to Mishnah Stari Masechet Shekalim Perek Dalad Mishnah. Hi, over here in this Mishnah, I'm continuing the discussion of last Mishnah, and now we're going to discuss someone who donates his possessions to the Beit HaMikdash, but what's included in these, in these possessions? I call it Mizbeach items, right? But it's things that can be brought on the Mizbeach, such as wine, oils, solet, right? Smid, right? A very fine flour, or birds, or foot, right? These are things that are brought on the Mizbeach, and these are part of the possessions that a person donates just down to the Beit HaMikdash. So what do we do with them? A Makdish Nechasav, a person who dedicates, he donates his possessions to the Beit HaMikdash. There are things in there that can be brought on the Mizbeach itself, right? What are they? What are some, some examples? Yenot, Shemanim, Uslatot, Ve'afot, Wines, um, Oils, Solet, right? This is a fine flower, or fot, or birds. The be the Ezer Omer, pay attention. This is the be the Ezer. We had to be the Ezer last Mishnah as well. Um, parenthetically, other people are going to be the Azar, and this changes everything. But Harabam says it's the be the Ezer. And what does he say? You sell it to people, right, who need that item itself. People coming to the Beit Midash, they, they're bringing a korban, they need some wine, they need some oils. Give them those, sell them those oils, and you'll have the money. And what do you do with that money? They have Ibid Mehem Olot. And you bring with their with that money Olot. You bring Korbanot Ola. Ushar Nechassim Yipudu the Beit HaKabayit. The rest of his possessions go to the uh, Temple Fund to upkeep the, uh, the Beit HaMikdash. Now, what? Like Rabbi Eliezer. This is Rabbi Eliezer. Rabbi Eliezer and Lesh Mishnah, what do you say? He said that when you donate something to the Beit HaMikdash, you sell everything and it goes to the Fund to upkeep the Beit Hamikdash, and over here he's saying these items you sell, and what do you bring with? What do you do with the money? You don't bring it to the fund. You don't send it to the fund to upkeep the Beit Hamikdash. Rather, you bring with that money olat korbanot olah. Why? Why is he saying something different and seemingly inconsistent with his opinion in last Mishnah? Rambam asks this, and he says that it's it's uh, it's purposeful. Why? Last Mishnah, when we spoke about the animal, an animal has pidyon, right? It can be redeemed, right? So therefore, something that can be redeemed, right? The, it should go to, the uh, the money should be redeemed and, and given to the Beit HaKabayit. But yenot, shmanim, and slatot, and ofot, en lahem pidyon, right? They don't have any redemption, right? And therefore, and therefore, um, we have to use that money to bring um, something on the Mizbeach, on the Mizbeach, and Halakha is like to be in the Yezid.